It seems more and more YouTubers are moving towards clickbaity titles, especially since Veritasium's video about how clickbait works really well. And by clickbait, I don't necessarily mean dishonest, but just trying to be intriguing in the thumbnail and the title to get people to click on the video even though they weren't intending to watch that in the first place. And I know a lot of you are gonna say, but clickbait doesn't work on me. Well, that's okay. There's just a lot more people where clickbait does work, and so everybody's moving towards clickbait. So why has it taken most YouTubers this long to get onto the whole clickbait thing? Well, I think it's because clickbait didn't used to be the best strategy. I used to always uh, title my videos and my articles to try to best match people's query for what they were searching for because before social media and everybody scrolling through their social media feeds on their phones, it was all about answering people's questions. The way you got traffic was through search and if you could best answer somebody's question, you'd get the click. And so I'd even go through Google Trends and uh, use Google Autocomplete to try to figure out for a topic that I was writing about how people searched for it so that I could structure my title to best match people's queries. And in fact, back in 2006, the New York Times ran an article, I think it was titled, um, This Boring Headline Written for Google. Because back then everybody was doing it, including the newspapers. You'd write your headline so that the uh, search engine could best evaluate what it was about so you'd get that search result. The problem is that search strategy has stopped working in recent years, like as in the last 10 years perhaps it gradually stopped working because uh, Google, for the most part, answers the search queries themselves by showing you snippets of stuff they found that mostly answers the question, which for the user is great, of course, you save time, but as somebody who tries to answer that question with a web page or a video, well, you're just not gonna get that click. But with search not working so well anymore for getting traffic, it's all about sucking people in as they're scrolling through their news feeds on social media. So you need a title and a thumbnail that really sucks people in even though they weren't actually looking for what you've got. You're no longer trying to answer an important question, you're just trying to entertain them, use up their time to, so you get a little bit of ad revenue. And I have to say, I think it's successful to a large extent because videos with clickbaity titles work better. I mean, I've been uh, moving a bit towards that and some of my videos that do have titles that are more clickbaity really works. In fact, even going back to 2008 when I built my Jenga pistol, I knew that's not something that anybody would ever search for because why would you think of that? So the title was just simply Jenga pistol and I knew it was intriguing and it got a lot of traffic back then. It was one of my first viral videos. Now, getting sucked into some of these videos, they're entertaining to watch, so it is a good source of entertainment. But the problem is, us creators, we're trying to entertain people who aren't necessarily looking for entertainment and we are getting so good at sucking people in that we're taking time away from other things. Granted, if we're taking time away from sitcoms and CNN, that's a good thing, but we're taking time away from people doing useful things, interacting with friends, getting outside, getting work done. So I feel like us creators creating these intriguing and clickbaity-ish kind of titles that really suck people in, it's like we are makers of cigarettes nowadays. Sure, a smoker's experience is enhanced at the time that they're smoking a cigarette, but that smoker's life overall would be much better off if they never ever smoked a cigarette. And so similarly, with all of these entertaining videos that we create, we take away so much time from useful things that I no longer feel that we're doing a good thing but what am I to do? Uh, sure, I could make videos that answer questions that nobody watches, which is not very satisfying either. And so I too try to make my thumbnails and titles to be more intriguing, but I don't feel good about it. I just wish things hadn't gone that way. But with so many people making content online these days, the competition has just gotten very fierce for getting eyeballs. Anyways, I'm posting this video on my Matthias Talks YouTube channel. I haven't posted on that one in a long time. I've just about abandoned that channel, but it's nice to post on it again once in a while, you know, like maybe once a year. Who knows, I might post on there some more if people watch enough of it. If I can suck you in, that's it. Okay, that's it, bye bye.